Water is life. Water is life. Greetings and salutations to everyone. Today is day eight out of 40 of water fasting. So 40 days of water fasting. I'm almost close to 10. And then I have 30 more days after that. Yes. So far, feeling pretty good. Still full of energy. And uh, I had to brush my teeth multiple times because my tongue, especially in the morning, is white. It's almost getting close to cotton mouth. Oh, whoa. still, it's getting white. Um, also, I finished the gallon. I just had no choice. The more water I drink, the more my body just wants to detox. It's beautiful. And the biggest thing that I'm enjoying is getting into ketosis. Because obviously when you're water fasting, you're getting into ketosis. And I know that I'm tapping into autotrophy. And not too many people know this. But when you do a water fasting, especially after three to four or five days and so on, your body utilizes the two most important tools, or one of the number of collection of tools, which is ketosis, which allows you to tap into your stored energy, your adipose, your fat. And that allows you to lose weight, but also to fuel the brain and clear up brain fog. Helps with, oh, definitely. And it just gives you that clear uh, thought process. You get to think much deeper. Your emotions start to settle out. So it's pretty nice, especially when you start going through some stressful events and you're just calm, just calm. I love calm. I love calm. And then when you are excited about something, man, you're going to get excited. So, yes, yes, yes. It's, it's good. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. And then with the uh, autotrophy, it is a method that your body is cleaning up, eating a lot of the dead cells and whatnot eating up the mutated uh, proteins, mutated cells, and uh, it's, it's one of the biggest blessings you can utilize. It is one of the biggest blessings you can utilize. And the craziest part is, your body already knows. You just have to tap into your body. And this is one of the other things that, the more I start doing all this water fasting and so on, and it's going through this research and so on. Your body has these list of instructions. It's, it loves you so much that whenever you put in toxic things into your body, your body does its best to handle those toxins, try to get rid of those toxins. Because it loves you, it wants you to survive. Then when you do so many bad things to your body, your body still tries to keep it going, keep it going, keep running, keep running. And as you com continuously over the years do all these bad things to your body, the body loves you. You gotta show your, bo your body a little bit of love. But you haven't been showing it some love. But it still loves you. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, I, I can't handle no more. I can't handle no more. Then it starts breaking down. First, it gives you a couple signals first. I have pain in this area. I got pain in this area. I, I can't run as fast. You feel tired. Oh, I got nothing to like fire up there. Brain fog. Or certain things ain't firing right. Make signals, anxiety, depression. And your body's just telling you something. I'm not running normally. Then you'll get to a point where uh, I'm just I'm just I'm just going to ignore it. Well, you may be ignoring your body, but your body is not ignoring you. 
So, it will give you more signals. Then you take some Advil, and then it's still telling you some, and then next, you put an ibuprofen, just to muzzle it. But it's gonna be like, oh, I, I, gotta, tell, I gotta tell them what's going on. Okay, I'm clearing out. Pain! Yeah. Yeah. Pain! Or grogginess. Or a list of emotions. A cocktail of emotions. Because your body's trying to tell you something. But you're trying to muzzle it. You're trying to ignore it. Or push it to the side. Nope. The body loves you. It will continuously try to tell you something's wrong. It loves you. And then it gets to another point. Where it's like, okay, I can't do no I can't. Step back. I can't do no more. Then the doctor says, you got a condition. But it still loves you. It still tries to do what it's supposed to do. And you keep, either you ignore it, or you do something. And when you start doing something, then you're showing your body some love. It's a beautiful thing. So, that's why I'm more fasting. I do it for preventative measures. Because I already have my, my body's done a lot. And I want to, I want to do a lot. And I got to give my body the love that it needs to do what it needs to do. And the cool part is, it already knows what to do. I just got to sit back, relax, water fasting, and let it do what it needs to do. Let it clean house. Tap into the stored energy. As I tap into the stored energy, it gives me benefits. As I let the body do what it do, what it does, it makes my body more efficient. So my body can do more things. I want to do more things. Sit back, relax, let it do its thing, so the body can become better. Because after the water fast, huge amount of contributions in conditioning the body. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Love, and the reason is. Health is wealth, man. Health is wealth. Guaranteed. There's people that are rich. Rich beyond belief. And that's where they use their money. If they kept ignoring their body, not showing love to their body, their body's still trying to give them love. And then it gets to that point where you're diagnosed with something, then they use all their wealth to try to get back that health. The more you put time and love in your body, your body will give you more time. Mm. It's all about time. Time is, time is a currency in this dimension. Time is a currency, real currency. So that's the fun stuff, that's the fun stuff. So water fasting is a beautiful thing. I've noticed that my uh, joints is feeling better, my uh, pains here and there, gone. Autotrophy beautiful thing and don't feel hungry I'm still uh, doing uh, like smooth uh, making smoothies with Evelyn cooking a little bit of stuff here and there for Evelyn and no urge and that's because of experience and whatnot and because I know the benefits of water fasting it helps so much so if you ever want to go into it you can always contact me and ask how do you start? How do you begin the steps? Because doing 40 days, it's not easy. When I first started doing 40 days, it was a little scary. I did not expect, I tried to expect nothing, but I already had experience of three weeks. I didn't even do a month, and I went straight to 40 days. And holy crap! That's some, that's some hard stuff, hard stuff. But it is a big, a big, big blessing. And when we went to church, one of the things they were talking about is fasting. 21 days of fasting. But normally with most religions, well, most Catholic churches right now, or Christian, Catholic, whichever, when they talk about fasting, they're talking about without something, without one little thing. 
He's like, oh, I'm gonna give up chocolate, or I'm gonna give up meat, or I'm gonna give up uh, gossip, I'm gonna give up porn, I'm gonna give up uh, things, give up something, give up TV, give up internet, give up social media. But the, um, the real essence back in the day was water fasting back in the day and uh, when you water fast religion wise it makes you more spiritual it makes you more compassionate it gives it gives you more compassion for yourself gives you more compassion to others which also leads to compassion for your community so Water fasting is also very spiritual, very spiritual. And it also allows you to tap into yourself more. I love it. I just love it. And that's why I'm doing it again. And uh, experiments, of course. You don't have to do a 40 day. Do one day, two day, three day, one week, who cares? It's about you. It's about you showing love for your body and let your body show you love. It's giving you love all the time. But when you quiet yourself, when you don't digest and you stop, that's when you start tapping into it. It's like, it's like when you're praying, meditating, same thing, in, in a sense. When you stop, sit down, kneel, whichever, and then you pray. Then you pray in silence, silence in the brain. And as time progresses in silence, you start getting inspiration. You start getting information because you stopped. And once you stop, you can listen. Like so. Now you're thinking, see? <laughs> so that's what fasting really is. It's just go silent and let your body do what it needs to do. So it's a beautiful day, technically a beautiful night. And it's today has been a joyous day. We got to communicate with others, very ins inspirational. Oh my God, very inspirational. And I hope to help them uh, with, with health concepts, Ellen's going to help them out too. And this is just a beautiful journey. And it's just the beginning, the beginning of the year. It's a beautiful thing. Till then, have a good night. With great love, stay alkalized and be an alkalized human. Till then, have a good one. Peace. Wings on my back, stay lit like a matchstick We ain't coming back, I swear Just let go and see what happens, gotta Let go to see the magic happen They got us a quick change, so we like them in phase I just bought a new watch, time to make my wrist ring This is